Hey Deckers, Ghost Recon Breakpoint might not be working out of the box, but with a little bit of work, you can get rid of this error thanks to one of the users on Reddit, specifically this user right here. Thank you very much. I'll guide you through that process towards the end for those interested, but let's have a look at the actual gameplay and settings here. Out of the box, this actually runs on the higher settings, and you'll see here that it does bounce around in the 40s and 50s, and even down into the 30s on a few occasions, and it also feels a little bit stuttery, so high settings is definitely not recommended here. But even if we drop that down to medium, in most situations we are still only in the mid 40s and 50s and even down into the 30s on the occasions. As you can see here, it still dips down into the low 40s and this is not even one of the most graphically intense areas. So my best settings for this one is to come into the settings, which is a little bit fiddly in itself. Go over to the video section, leave this in the full screen aspect and turn V-Sync on. Keep the texture quality at medium and resolution scaling at 100. Temporal injection and anti-aliasing on. But then change the sharpening intensity on the FLED TFX to 20. By default it's at 15, that's a little bit aggressive. And then change the preset to medium and then turn motion blur off. Everything else should be as you see here from this point forward. And now if we come into game, you'll see that frame time and frame rate absolutely solid, providing you change your refresh rate on the Steam Deck down to 40 and the frame cap at 40 as well. Now you'll see that line is pretty much perfectly flat, whether we are in the drone, messing around in the wind and rain, bombing it down the highway in one of the vehicles and trying not to get spotted and shot at, and even buzzing around in the helicopter raining hell on vehicles. Or even in the bivouac where it comes out and shows all of the gorgeous scenery, it's unwavering. So this is by far the most stable of the settings. I did have a hard crash the first time I was playing this on the higher settings, after about 10-15 minutes, but on these settings it does seem to be holding quite stable. Hopefully we'll see an official update, so we don't need to do this work around in the future, and that might improve the stability of the game as well. But overall, this has actually been playing exceptionally well, and I'm really gutted that my save from Stadia did not port over, as I had over 55 hours in this, and I don't know if I want to go through it all again. Okay, so the fix is pretty simple on this one. What you need to do first is switch over to the desktop mode, then open up your Steam library, select Ghost Recon Breakpoint, click the little settings icon and go to Manage, and then Browse Local Files. Go into the BattleEye folder and find this belauncher.ini. Just right click this and say Open with KWrite. And then change the 64-bit XE from GRB to GRB underscore Vulcan. Now if you're unsure of the spelling or you just want to make sure you get it right, you can go into the top level Ghost Recon Breakpoint folder, which is where you came in initially, and just look for the GRB files and copy the GRB underscore Vulcan section. After that, all you have to do is switch back and run the game in Vulcan mode. Now be aware that the first time you run this, it will sit on the Ubisoft screen for around 1-2 to two minutes, but after that, the startup seems pretty normal. Now you can play to your heart's content and also online. Hopefully you'll see an official fix for this, but this is definitely a great way to be getting into the game right now. And with the huge sale on the game, it's definitely worth picking up. Let us know in the comments below how you get on with this one, and we will see you next time.